let's talk about mental health. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat. It's a video I've wanted to do for a little while. And I have been toying with the idea. And the reason I think now's a good time is because it's just been Christmas. And it's the start of a, another lockdown here in uh, the United Kingdom. Now, I'm going to start with some little facts and figures, which is a little bit boring, but it sort of puts into perspective a little bit more. So, the best figures I could find, um, like up to date figures, I'll put the websites in the description of the video, is in 2019, within England and Wales, there was uh, 5,691 registered, registered suicides. That's a crazy amount but it's, it's sort of consistent with the rates of 2018 uh, and it is some of the highest since sort of 2000. Males alone continue to account for around three quarters of suicide. And in 2019 again there was 4,303 male deaths compared with um, just under one and a half thousand females. It's a scary thought isn't it? it got, a lot more males commit suicide than females and to me it's because there's still a stigma around male mental health there is so many charities companies out there that are trying to end the stigma you look at like the likes of Andy's Man Club a new company that I recently found and are falling in love with their products called Boys Get Sad Too um, be awesome if they were to reach out and maybe drop us some products as well it's, it is very scary to sit there and to think that people feel so alone um, with mental health and feel like they've got nowhere to turn, no one to talk to for fear of judgement and that's where it is when it comes to the male stigma. People don't quite understand that people for whatever reason in this day and age will suffer or experience some form of mental health problem and that could be absolutely anything. 17.6% of adults in England have at least one common mental health disorder. Like, put that into perspective and realise that that is, it, it is quite high in the long run. Um, I don't know quite how many people are in, uh, are in England, but 17.6% is, is a substantial amount. Now, 0.4% of adults in England have a psychotic disorder and 80% are receiving treatment. 10% of children in the UK have a diagnosable mental health condition. Oh, yeah. So you like to look at the causes of mental health and what they are. There is, <coughs> there is a wide range of causes. Um, it could be a combination of complicated factors, it could be one thing that's triggered it, it could be absolutely anything. But the, the things that start here are soci social isolation and loneliness, uh, discrimination, stigmas, social disadvantage, poverty and debt, bereavement, so losing somebody that's close to you, um, which <coughs> a lot of people know I've experienced that quite recently. Um, uh, it definitely does have, uh, I'm going to call it a weird effect, a very weird effect on mental health to be fair, it's, I don't, I, I don't even know how to explain it and this is, this is me, somebody who doesn't talk to anybody about stuff like this and I am, part of the reason I'm doing this video is because I am the sort of person that sort of holds stuff in, I have, less than a handful of people that I trust to talk to about stuff like this. Um, you, other problems, severe long term stress, um, having a long term physical health condition, unemployment, uh, losing your job, homelessness, poor housing, um, drug and alcohol misuse, and then you look at trauma as well, so domestic violence, bullying, other abuse even as an adult. Um, trauma, significant trauma such as uh, military combat, being involved in a serious incident where you fear for your life or being a victim of violent crime. Now, <coughs> there is a lot of causes, there is an unbelievable amount. 
some people might never realise why their mental health has been caused or what's caused it in the first place, what's triggered it. But I'm not bothered that people suffer from mental health. I'm bothered that people don't feel comfortable enough to talk about mental health. We don't feel comfortable enough to talk about how they're feeling. Um, or we don't feel like we've got anybody to be able to talk to. Now at the end of the video I'm going to put up some uh, numbers, some websites for various places. Um, how you can get some support if you need it. You look at the charities that are around. Um, the majority of them you can remain completely anonymous if you want. Now, there's things that people can do from these charities, um, things that can be put in place to help you. But you need to take that first step and you need to ask for it. People might suspect, but people will never know if you're suffering unless you tell them that you're suffering. Now, this video is sort of a plea. It is a horrible time of year for a lot of people, it's Christmas, and albeit it is now, um, coming up to sort of midway through January and by the time my shitty internet actually uploads this video it'll be sometime in March probably but Christmas is that time where people feel alone probably this year more than, more than most because people haven't been able to visit fondly people haven't been able to go places that they normally do I know there's a lot of charities that do a lot of things at Christmas for a lot of people I'm not sure if they've been still been around but I, I suspect probably not when you tie that with with a lockdown when people can't see friends and family they can't just go out and go wondering um, and I suppose rightly so to an extent but the thing that bugs me about lockdown is I don't feel mental health has been taken into account enough now it's laughable to me that takeaways remain open yet gyms remain closed so it's basically fueling uh, unhealthy and an unhealthy lifestyle and I'm not one to talk about healthy or unhealthy lifestyles at the minute because mine is terrible I haven't trained in I couldn't tell you last time I went to the gym to be honest or oh, went for a run now to me, another cause of mental health problems is obesity. It, it causes medical problems. It causes um, causes mental health problems with without a shadow of a doubt. And gyms are a way to tackle that. I don't see why gyms with good social distancing measures in place can't open. I know the gym that I attend or have attended in the past, should I say? I'm still a member of it. CrossFit Boudica and the Lift Lab. It, it, it's, got, it's had some really good social distancing measures in place. It's catered for it. It's made sure that we've got like cleaning stations and cleaning equipment to be able to clean down your equipment um, at the end of, of a session. And it, it's fighting it. It's, it, it's fighting it's sort of being able to stay open. At the minute, the only government guidelines it has closed but a uh, detrimental effect to probably quite a lot of its members, not only the owner and his family, but I'd suggest probably a lot of the members of that gym are probably suffering as a result of not being able to go to the gym. And it's a scary thought that people suffer from mental health because they don't have an outlet. To me, the gym is uh, is that place that I like to go to, to sort of lose touch a little bit to to zone out to do my thing to do what I want to do I enjoy it I have fun when I'm there and it makes me feel better coming out with the other end it's it's a great feeling and it's hard to replicate especially in in times where there's so little people can actually do I I know and I haven't found any facts and figures unfortunately but I know for a fact that suicide rates go up around Christmas. I know that suicide rates probably have gone up since the start of lockdown. And I fear that there's a trend that's just going to continue. Now we're in lockdown for the next few weeks for sure. But I suspect it's probably going to be a lot longer. Now if you are suffering, 
if there is a reason you're suffering reach out to a charity reach out to a friend a family member um, an emergency service if, if it's getting absolutely terrible but don't suffer in silence and the lights are out and you stumble in the dark you kept pushing on but then you went too far when your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault Just remember, I will be there for you baby Remember, there's nothing out there to get you Don't forget it, when life goes almost Just call on me Just call on me Just call me. Just call me.